they started off ranked number one, Penn State, and then they went on a four game losing streak. Wesley and Skyview beat the Tiger. They were struggling, and then they had the uh, Nike Interstate shootout. Basically, uh, that's like the, the Les Schwab version of the boys' uh, like holiday tournament. So after their four game streak, they went to the Interstate shootout. And they went 4 0 there and won the, the championship. So I think now they're back on track. They're back. They're ranked second now. They played Jesuit on Friday. They just beat Central Catholic last night. So 8 and 4 overall. Second in state. They got some a uh, couple, about three or four D1 prospects. Uh, Tyshell Blake. Um, she's heavily recruited. Uh, Martina McCowan, she'll play D1. Just like overall, like good group. They got two transfer, uh, one transfer from David Douglas, um, Sydney. She's point guard. She'll help them. And then, uh, I think I would say Ben Dude is like the best freshman like in the state of Oregon. She's like she literally can touch the rim right now. <laughs> So if you see her standing or jumping, like jump up, she can jump up off two feet and like grab like good good piece of net and probably grab rim on any given jump. Dude. So she's like legitimate. Like to me, she's the best player on that team. Like she's a natural basketball player, and I think she'll probably be like all league for uh, Mount Hood Conference. She should get honorable mention all state, but she hit the game winner in the. Uh, the interstate shootout to get them um, to the championship game. That's cool. Like all this is like new to me, but I want to learn how to use it too. It's like cool to be in a studio. When mm. I first came in here, I didn't know. You know when you see on TV, yeah. on like the news and stuff, you think it's like something back there, <laughs> but it's not. But that's cool. And these guys are the pros. I'm just trying to learn like you. Perfect. Oh, oh, I got it all Perfect. No, you got it. Just add it's a capital and an apostrophe. Yeah. Okay. And, and no space between dot and love? No, nope. just the apostrophe. Perfect. Okay, kind cool. French. And then uh, the St. Mary's girls, I'm waiting for the coach to text me back with the names of those girls that are going to be here. That's the St. first. St. Mary's. And so if you notice what we did with the guests, I would put like St. Mary's, St. Mary's girls basketball. Yeah. And then list their name down below. So you could even start with that one out there. Okay. Is this going to be live on Channel 22 and on uh, the web? Sorry. Yeah, that's what they're playing. Yeah, is it 22 or is it 11? Um, I, think I think it's, it's 22. 22. Okay. So Comcast and the web, the live web stream? Right. Yeah, that's that's what we've tried to do. And it's worked out so far. But it's like the, the stream is like 10 minutes behind the TV show? Right. So that's just like, that's why I said I want to hear my voice a little bit. Like you said, you got to like critique myself by watching game film on there so you can work and get better. This is my first year in broadcasting, so just want to work and just, you know, get better every game. We got games coming up this weekend. Hopefully you're going to be there. So we're going to go print stats. Get prep for tonight's show. The girls will be here pretty soon. And um, hopefully just get ready to have a good show. This print room right here? Yeah. Everything's max in here. We only deal with max. <laughs> <laughs> so like I said, right now we're just getting um, stats from the St. Mary's uh, girls coach. She sent some information over so we can prep for tonight's show. Get familiar with the girls, with the team, and where they're at. Just kind of go over it. Me and PJ were just going over information, so just want to be prepared. You got to do your homework no matter what you're doing, whether you're coaching or playing. You want to be prepared for what you're doing. So this is the process we go through here to get prepared. And now we got our list of girls. We know who's coming. We're going to be here. We highlight those. Make sure we can pronounce their names correctly. Uh, make sure everybody's name is spelled correctly so when we um, put them on the credits, you know, everybody feels comfortable. So we got Bindu's going to be in the building today. Tasia's going to be here. Martina and Cece. 
so we know who we got. And then basically, we got a rundown of everybody's stats of where they're at so far this season, um, just so we can, when we're on set with them, talking to them, you know, we got something to work with here. Um, CC, she's already signed to Weber State, so we'll touch on that. Martina, she's highly recruited by a lot of Pac-12 schools, so we'll talk to her a little bit about that. And then basically where they're at for this uh, for this season. Um, Coach says they got high expectations and they're, and they're competing for a state championship, so that's what we're looking at right now. You guys want to um, come back here for a second and we can just kind of go over a couple things? The toughest part about all this for me is stepping outside of my comfort zone. The thing that helps me most is keeping a point guard mentality. While I'm able to help my team by helping myself and following my dreams, I also get to assist the younger generation and giving them an opportunity to share their stories and their successes as well. So I got a copy for me and Alex. You can give a copy to PJ, Ryan, um, to Alvi to put on the credits at the end of the show. All of them? Yeah, it's two pages. So we got a roster there. So Ryan, Alvi. Alright, thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it. Alright. You guys can sit anywhere. Just sit down and just hang out. Mm -hmm. So you guys watching the games on Four of Sports Beat at all? You guys know what it is? You know anything about it? Alright, so careful. Party <laughs> Uh, who is this right now? So this is an old game. I was just, basically I'm studying and filming myself. I do the color commentary sports broadcasting. So it's me and Brad. Oh, that's Brad right here. That's Brad okay. in uh, Savage. Yeah, we'll add that in. We definitely will. So this is like, you know, like I said, we do the broadcasting. We stream these games live on the web and sometimes on TV as well. Um, tonight it will be a live studio show. So if you guys have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you want to go on right now, I'd appreciate it. I know all the guys will appreciate it. Just do it like a blast. Like, hey, check out Portland Sports Beat tonight, Comcast Channel 22, live at 8 o'clock. At the end of the show, um, we need you guys here. We're going to do a family feud type of game. And it's going to be you guys versus Concordia Girls Soccer. And they just won the NAIA National Championship. So they'll be here. They're on the second segment. So we need you guys here all the way through the end of the show. And then every, all, all four of you guys will be able to be on that segment. But on set, we need three people. I don't know how you guys pick that. However, um, captains, cut rock, scissors. However you guys feel comfortable to do it. The, the, biggest, thing I would, the biggest thing I would say to you is um, smile and have fun. Um, you guys had a great year. This is, you know, the reason you guys are on here is because you guys have done some, some really great things. So just have some fun with it. Um, and if you guys got Facebook and Twitter, um, you guys can tag us. You can watch it online live at uh, portlandsportsbeat.com. And so uh, if you'd like to know about that, and then our Twitter is at PBX Sportsbeat. So you can tag us on there and, and, and do all that kind of stuff. So. So that's the first one. So we'll put Ben Du, Ben Du is B E N D U. See, I'm going to let it over now. It's just looking weird. Y E A. Perfect. So should we let them know like a CD one based on this? First thing you do. Well, we'll know a little bit is that she's wearing blue with a Michael Jordan sign and J on hers, and then the other gal with this one. So that lets us know. Please do. We'll be on. And she has curly hair and she has glasses. And then you know who I am? With the clock smash. And will you be and you'll be on. Yeah. So we have to have Yes, and we do know who I am. Don't you worry about that. That'll be just fine. The love it I know who the love is. You know what? Are you not PJ, but it'll be just you clock. I never looked at that clock. No, me and Sunday. Okay, so we need to put her name. That's nice. Well, we need to yeah. make a lower third person. Lane? I never use that one. Right. <laughs> okay, so, so, so next person. So, uh, I'll be on the first uh, segment. Uh, we'll 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 there's no real start time to this. It's like, you try to get ready for the show, and uh, this is what I do. I gotta go through like this. This is why I prefer like wearing my afro. Because this, this is for studio TV only. Hmm. When I do broadcasting, I just stick to my fro. But my mom, she said um, I should wear my hair straight on TV. I don't want to embarrass her. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to give her. A little bit of girly look. This is what I got to go through. See, if I was a boy, I wouldn't have to do this. I could just have my cousin give me a fresh lineup before the show. But I'm stuck doing this maintenance. 
high maintenance, and no matter what I do, it's never gonna come out how I actually want it. <laughs> You guys just came off a win versus Central. Yeah. What was that last? Was it last, last night? night? Yeah. How was that game? Um, I think we could have did something better, but it, it felt good to get the win to like first uh, league game. You guys still transfer the Catholic Cup? Is that like do they still do that? When I when I play this, because you guys are now, you guys are now in the Mount Hood Conference with Central, but we were in the Metro League when I played like way back in 2000. So we had what we called the Catholic Cup. So when we would play them once a year, we would transfer the cup back and forth with whoever we won. So, you know, with, with, with uh, the rights, bragging rights, you get a trophy. Yeah, so. probably next year because we're really moving out of the mountain of the conference. Oh, yeah, the what, realignment. Which conference are you moving to? Three Rivers. Three Rivers, Three Rivers yeah. Okay. Uh, the third game we did was Southridge at Grant, a boys game of uh, 6A. So I'm just going on Twitter uh, at um, PDX Sports Beat and just thinking the St. Mary's Grills that came on uh, that were on the show tonight. Just giving them a shout out at those guys um, so then they can, you know, retweet to all their friends and then get some more followers like that so we can get the show out there and just basically do some promotion. Thanks and promotion, they help us, we help them. I like the program and everything, so it works for everybody. That's basically what we're knocking out right now. Just get that done. Shout these guys out, send a tweet. Punch it in. Bada beam, bada boom. And we done. Just like that. Tweet it. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to St. Mary's Academy and the girls basketball team especially for coming on the show and just sharing um, their successful season with us so far. Um, we'll continue to follow them um, through the 2014 season. And good luck to them in the 6A state championships.